Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be testing out the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, the matte one. I'm hoping I can do a wear test today. It is now currently 11.22 in the after afternoon, morning. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, which is my favorite mattifying uh, pore filling primer. So I'm gonna put that kind of in the center of my face where I get the most oily and on my nose as well. Honestly, if you have large pores or you get oily throughout the day, you should definitely try this primer. So let me tell you a little bit about the foundation. It launched in the UK in September. It retails for £29 on Look Fantastic, Cult Beauty, ASOS and Boots. It says this oil-free 24-hour matte foundation diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Our matte formula stays completely colour true while covering imperfections to reveal the all-day shine-free look of natural flawless skin, naturally flawless skin. 35 shades of waterproof lightweight wear and coverage so undetectable they'll think you were born this way it also says it's infused with hyaluronic acid gives a smoother and more youthful appearance so yeah they sent me this shade which is warm sand but this is not my shade so i did ask them to send me my correct shade which is maple in the original born this way formula so this is what it looks like i'm gonna compare the shade maple to the shade maple in the original foundation i can't get the words out today maple's not my 100 percent shade match but it's the closest thing that i've found from this line i've tried so many shades i've tried shy chai chestnut maple warm sand i've tried so many shades in this but maple is the closest one i've found it's a little bit too pinky toned for me but i can make it work so this is maple in the normal born this way foundation which looking at it now looks really kind of warm tone red but oh well and this is maple in the born this way matte so they do look the same to me i don't know if they're my correct shade but i might i don't want to mix because if you guys are like my skin twin i want you to be able to have a solid shade but i don't even have a solid shade in this foundation so i'm gonna take maple by itself just in case you are my skin twin you might be able to find like a match with this shade so i'm taking about that much and i'm gonna use a brush to kind of stipple this in it has such a red undertone or like a warm red oh the coverage is nice so far i haven't used this foundation by itself i've always mixed it with something else no this shade is not right for me this is so red and it's already matte that's dried down already so that definitely dries down really fast spreads really nicely the coverage is high medium so far the shade is not amazing but that is the coverage so that is the side by side you can see it's definitely matte it's definitely right now high medium but i didn't take a lot of foundation so i feel like it will be buildable if i wanted more coverage in this area i could just build up a little bit and then just dab that on i might go in with the warm sand shade just to kind of lighten it up a little bit so i'm going to take a little bit of warm sand and just kind of concentrate that towards the center of my face if you are my skin twin i wear mac nc 46 i think let me know what you wear in Too Faced born this way because i just can't find a total match for me but yeah i'm just blending in a little bit of that warm sand shade right i need a neutral undertone that's what i need not pink not warm just a neutral that shade matches a little bit better i mean it's better than the maple by itself yeah it's definitely a buildable formula because as i'm stippling that in it's definitely covering more for me i would say definitely start with less and then just build it up in the areas that you want more so you don't end up with like a thick layer of foundation it does feel pretty lightweight on the face though like it doesn't feel heavy and cakey but it definitely packs a punch in coverage i love the way it dries down so fast i am assuming this is of course a foundation for oily combination skin if you have dry skin then definitely stick to the original one so yeah that is the foundation foundation applied once again i did have to mix the two shades unfortunately but if you have a perfect match in the Too Faced foundation you won't have to do that so far i'm really enjoying the way this looks on my face it looks really smooth it looks matte it's covered i mean there's nothing more i can ask from a foundation i just hope it holds up throughout the day so apart from not having a perfect shade in this foundation i do really like the finish of this it's not super drying but it definitely has a matte finish full coverage buildable if you want to start 
start off light or if you don't need that much coverage but um yeah I'm really enjoying this so far so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face I'm actually gonna film another video testing the Colourpop Hocus Pocus collection so my eyes and stuff will be done when I come back but yeah it is now 11:35. I'm gonna leave you guys and I'll come back to you when my face is complete okay guys so my face is now complete I actually did a video testing the Hocus Pocus collection from Colourpop that video should be out already before this one I think because I'm gonna edit it literally right now it is now 12 58 in the afternoon so I'm gonna go about my day this is how we're looking still very matte also I finished up my face with I used bare minimum products because I didn't want to mess with the foundation too much I used a little bit of the revolution conceal and define infinite concealer underneath my eyes and on my chin just to kind of brighten up the foundation a little bit but I only used a small amount I set it with the Too Faithful Born This Way powder in the shade translucent and I only used a small amount of this underneath the eyes and also you know my oily areas down the center of my nose my chin just kind of like this area right here t-zone I guess so yeah this is how we're looking so far I've been wearing the foundation for about an hour and a half I think I'm gonna go edit pick twins up from school and then I'll probably do a check-in once I get back from picking them up so yeah I'll catch you guys in a bit okay guys my back so it is now 4 p.m in the afternoon i've tied my hair in a bun these lashes are about to come off i've just grabbed the twins from school so if you hear any kids in the background you know how it is <laughs> but this is how we are looking so we are now at the four and a half hour mark and this is how we are looking a little bit more dewy than i was expecting on my nose like my nose is really really shiny i even noticed that right after leaving you guys my nose was looking a little bit shiny um i did use primer like a pore filling blurring mattifying primer so i am a little bit surprised by the amount of shine i have going on on my nose the rest of my face still looks pretty fine my oils are slightly coming through but i think it's not crazy it still looks pretty natural glow type of glow from within skin dewy looking type of glow it's not oily greasy just yet but my nose definitely is but the rest of my face is looking pretty good in my opinion but if i was out and I saw myself looking like this I definitely would touch up with powder so that's probably what I'm gonna do but I haven't touched up so far I just wanted to show you guys how we are looking right now and overall I'm not mad at how I'm looking for you know nearly five hours because my oils have started to come through here it is looking because my oils have started to come through on this area here I am noticing my pores are standing out a little bit more than when I left you guys so I'm going to take the smallest amount of RCMA no color powder I'm going to dab some of that off on the back of my hand and just touch up on my cheeks where my pores I find that when my face is matte my pores are not as visible but when the oils start coming through you can see every pore that I have so I'm literally just touching up my nose as well with a little bit of powder I want to see if the foundation starts to separate when I do touch up hmm, it seems to be removing a little bit of the coverage right here as I'm touching up with the powder my nose actually looks fine there's nothing coming off or like changing on my nose but I am noticing a little bit of my scars coming through here typically for me five hours is how long I would wear makeup if I was going out you know to an event or well I'm not going out much anymore I just pick up the kids from school and come home but when I used to go to events and stuff or like family dinners whatever it was five hours is typically the amount of time that I would be wearing makeup for so the way that it's worn through the five hours that I've had it on I'm pretty happy with this foundation and the way that it's held up with my oily skin but maybe for you people that you know do have eight hour days I'm gonna keep it on for a few more hours just to see how it continues to wear okay guys I'm back so it is now 10 past 6 in the evening I'm ready to take this off um I have got a little bit oily now and my pores are definitely visible on this side of my face which is typical for foundation that I've been wearing for six plus hours honestly I'm not mad at this foundation for the amount of time that I've had it on this is typically how I would look because I do have oily skin but some foundations that I try I look like this after an hour so the fact that it's been like six how many hours has it been 11 30 basically seven hours of wear and this is how we're looking it hasn't separated it hasn't gone all weird it still looks pretty fine it's just a little bit more dewy than i personally like 
you know my skin to look but overall i feel like the foundation has held up well on the normal part of my face like i haven't touched up any of this at all and it just looks fine so if you have normal skin then it would look fine but if you do have oily skin like mine it does get a little bit oily as the hours go on and your pores do become more visible because of the oil production so yeah let me know your thoughts down below if you did pick up the foundation what are your thoughts on it if you have oily skin dry skin what are you thinking about it let us all know down below give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channel and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye did i turn my mic on yeah oh i did thank god i thought my mic was off the whole time <laughs>